Well, well. I always love that beginning, and and I have to say why. It's just the circles. I just, well, yeah. I love the circles. You cannot give somebody like me a time to play with doing something like that, okay? <laughs> it was pretty good. I'm like, circles. <laughs> Lots of circles. There's a circle. There's a circle. I almost put a couple of arrows in for the fun of it, though. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, anyway. this, was a, this has been a long day, and I ain't done nothing, and it's still a long day. You know, I did uh, late night with Bigfoot Michigan Rob last night, and yep. boy, I tell you what, we are both not feeling well. <laughs> we didn't talk long after. It was like I went straight to bed. I couldn't even keep my eyes open. And then, yep. you know, I woke up about four thirty, five o'clock, and then went right back to sleep and didn't wake up till almost noon today. Ooh, yeah, you can't be feeling good if you were that late getting up. Yeah, you know, because the latest I ever, I ever get sleep after his show is like eight o'clock, you know, about eight o'clock and I'm up and yeah. I'm ready almost noon. So I knew. So I yeah. have my blanket <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh. I'm pretty comfortable. I'm pretty warm right now. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not like Rob, like super sick or anything, but yeah. You can tell I'm a little wore down. So, yeah. Well, um, I, I can't say that I did anything to, you know, I take that back. We did uh, my daughter's, the, the twins, they had their birthday on the 20, uh, on the 4th was their birthday. And the one that's here stateside, she wanted carbonara for her birthday dinner. Right. I made it today. First time ever trying it. I made it. I, I had to say I'm a pretty dead gum cook. Good cook. <laughs> I was like, hey, two plates full of it. I'm like, that's pretty good stuff. I like spaghetti and stuff like that, you know, but good lord, this is a whole nother level now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I know. I'm a pasta 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 person. You know, I, yeah. I have to ha have too. my yeah. carbs. <laughs> yes. Yes, we are too. And if it ain't spaghetti, it's some sort of goulash. It's some sort of elbows, mac and yes. cheese. Absolutely. We're have it. So absolutely, absolutely. But I think that just uh, makes me go to sleep. <laughs> it yeah, it does make you tired. But yeah. you know, not to just switch gears, but we're gonna switch gears a little bit. We're gonna talk about the Crossing Realms Conference just for a, yes. a brief minute, yep. just for a brief minute. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. This is going to be held uh, September 19th and 20th at yep. the uh, Eagleton Civic Center in Richmond, Missouri. Uh, yep. We're going to have a meet and greet Friday, the conference Saturday, and a ghost hunt is going to be Saturday evening. Now, yes. um, our ghost hunt is selling out fast. We only had a limited amount of tickets. The last I heard, we have eight. We have eight left, maybe less than that now. I haven't checked it today. Yeah. Um, so make sure you get your tickets. If you can't afford the whole thing, well, get those tickets, the, the haunted ghost hunt tickets first, and then you can go back and get the other ones later if you'd like. <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm just the, uh, event bright link. uh, Gary just put the event bright link out there. I just pinned it to the, uh, chat. So it's out there for you. And it's also in the description. Right, right. Very, very affordable. Um, again, we're doing the ghost hunt again for the um, the Ray County Museum there in Richmond. We're raising funds to help it keep an open and running and uh, in great shape, you know, because uh, we all, we always know that these haunted locations, they have to keep up somehow. Yeah, and, they got to um, make money some way, shape or form. Yeah, they got to make money to keep everything on the up and up, to keep the doors open and all that kind of good stuff. So we appreciate all of you that support them. Um, also we are, um, get, we're just going to have a great time. It's an indoor outdoor yeah. thing that we're planning yeah. on doing, um, you know, for the, the, the conference and it's just going to be a blast. It's I think just going it to be a blast. Be. I think it will be amazing actually. So. Yeah, we're going to try to get all the vendors that we can possibly get out there. So you have lots of shopping and, and stuff to do, things to look at. Um, of course, the Ray County Museum is just right next door. 
Mm-hmm. And you can you can even walk around that if you'd like. Um, there is a, a cemetery out there. There's all kinds of stuff out there. So it's going to be a great time. So remember, September 19th and 20th of 2025. Okay. Well, now we already got a question on it. Poncho, they may have spent some money on it here. I won't put that one up, but he may have bought an extra <laughs> ticket, it looks like. And also, he's also, will there be lodging for the ghost hunt? Um, the ghost hunt, no, we cannot sleep in the location because it is a working museum. So we cannot stay in that location. Um, but there are hotels that are, are nearby. And um, contact me, Pancho, and I will get that information for you and let you know where to go. And I am sitting here responding to Gary. Gary's going to make us some, uh, looks like some wood knockers and some walking sticks to get out there for him. So. Oh, awesome. Fun, awesome. fun stuff there. So anyway, right. so yeah, that, that pays our bills for a little while anyway. <laughs> so Krista doesn't <laughs> come down and beat our butts. <laughs> right, right, right. We did it, but Krista. We did it. It'll be a great, it'll be a great time to catch some evidence. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? Oh yeah. Sure will. It very you know, will. and maybe after the ghost hunt, maybe, you know, the people who attend a ghost hunt or, or even a tour of the place can yeah. maybe send their evidence to us and we can, do a whole show on air of what happened. Yeah. That, and that'd be a great thing. I mean, a, a, some sort of evidence reveal would be great coming out of that. Cause uh, right. I've still been going through stuff from the Mineola thing. We talked about, I carried, I remember I brought a few of the pictures from the, uh, uh, the actual walk ghost walk down there at Mineola. Right. And right. I, I'm still going through some of the stuff. Now there were a lot of little things that happened, a lot of personal experiences, but it's not translating to the, to the video and audio like I would have hoped it would have, but, there's <laughs> there's a few things that happened in many other that were almost you know i shouldn't say unexplained but it caused the people that they're there to do it take like that you know just a, a, a to right step back and say wait a second that wasn't here before or right. we didn't hear that before so anyway so yeah we'll worry right. about that when i get to go through some orbits <laughs> anyway, yeah uh, i know i know I've, I've got a ton of evidence that I, I, I wouldn't say skim through, but I went to the most important where I knew there was something that yeah. I needed to check. And yeah. whenever I'm doing audio or something like that, you will hear me say mark. That means when I'm listening through it, I need to pay attention to that area. So I do mark exactly. my audio um, yeah. just to make it easier. You know, when you're, when you're skimming through or listening for, yeah. you know, certain things, you- it's like it marks it for you. Yeah. Like I said, There's stuff that you hear like physically at the spot, though. So, right, right. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there is that, but I mean, that would be a cool show to do. I mean, we, we've got, I, I mean, maybe we should do a show before then of people's evidence and just go through it. You know, I mean, maybe. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we could do that. I mean, we've I exactly. put out there before. You know, people, a couple of people have sent a couple of things. You know, that I've looked at, and we put it out on the community area. Now, obviously, mm-hmm. some of it we discounted and pretty much told to go bye-bye and others i still i think i still got it out on the community part of the uh the the channel right right, here. right. Uh, i mean unfortunately unfortunately when we get something on audio the most disheartening thing is for somebody to say hey it's that and then you realize yeah it's, yeah, it is. it's not paranormal <laughs> and i mean you gotta you gotta realize that you know, and, and yeah. I, I mean, I've, I've hurt my own feelings at times, you know, we I think our I feelings last and I'm week. Like, <laughs> right. And I'm like, ah, ah, and I'm like, oh man. Yeah. You know, that just, that was just terrible. Speaking of that, um, sp- last night on Rob show, um, okay. I've got it, I've got it in about 49 minutes, 46 seconds, somewhere in there. There was a loud okay. knock on my desk last night. When oh, wow. I was sitting there quietly while he was talking and I was, you know, we need to go through that and find out if that you can hear the knock audibly through my mic okay. because uh, I, you, yeah. Cause you noticed me on the video and I kind of turned my head and I'm like, uh, uh, <laughs> I didn't say well, I, nothing, but you know, I'm just like do individual audio this time again. he still did not do individual audio. We're just going to have to get him. Just get them, but you may be able to hear it, hopefully. Yeah, and, hopefully. and we'll take a look, and I'll see if I can find it. If nothing else, maybe I can split it out. Who knows? I'll have to look at it. But, yeah, about 49 minutes, I'll take a look at it after we're done here. Yeah, because, you know, it's like you you 
physically see me switch my head to the side going, well, that wasn't right. And I couldn't figure it out because it was on my desk. Yeah. And it was a but knock. And I was like, oh. Is someone okay. trying to talk to me? <laughs> right. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I didn't know. But it was a knock. And, and I heard it right here on my yeah. desk. And it was off to my left-hand side. So, you know, I, I'm just saying these these strange things are happening. And we know. We know that I got strange things going on. I yeah. am just, I'm asking. Yeah. The spirits here that are hanging around in here. If you would kindly go behind me and block out that light, that would be awesome. What light? Oh, the one back there. Yeah. Go ahead and block that out. That'll be fine. Now, you know, <laughs> if that thing fine. turns completely off, you're going to wish you hadn't have done that. Right. Or I, I, like a noticeable shadow back here, yeah. you know, a noticeable shadow. Yeah. You can do that if you want to, you know, that'll be fine with me. That's fine. <laughs> well, yeah, as long as your video doesn't freeze. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, and that is a possibility. That is a possibility because, you know, when you're out there in the field investigating and a lot of times your technical side will falter and you, there is no reason behind it. You know, the battery is going dead, a glitch in your audio, a glitch in the video. It could be a lot of things. Um, but if it doesn't have a habit of doing that, yeah, then, you know, like this doesn't have a habit of having glitches. I'll freeze up, you know, but I will not glitch. Yeah. Um, but like if I'm investigating in the cold, now my my audio and stuff and some of my um, equipment will falter because yeah. it's just too cold and won't operate correctly. So I have to pay attention to that. Yeah. But I've never had it go off, like have a posit a positive reaction, and. Yeah. And it faltered. That's yeah. that doesn't happen. It just turns thing. off, right? Yeah. So I mean, you got to pay attention to your equipment, I guess, and realize you know that what your equipment equipment does. And, and you know, honestly, when you're sitting there looking at it, and you, you you've got your let's say your audio, uh, your voice recorder or whatever, just a voice recorder in general, you go in full full bore. You you're fully charged. You're ready to go. Got everything. And you're ten minutes into it, all of a sudden you get that flashing light. You're like wait a second, there's no way 10 minutes of recording should have done this. Right. What's going on? Right. Now, I don't consider that a failure. I consider that, you know, hey, something's trying to play around because you could go right. Walk right out of the area and all of a sudden be back up again. I've had it happen before. Right. So. Right. Um, Gary in chat says, Brandy, are you going to keep me safe on the ghost hunt? LOL. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, because I, I kind of laugh. I said, if you're paying, I'll keep you safe. All others, mm -mm. you're on your own. <laughs> you're on your own. <laughs> you might want you might, might want to watch out for senior you though. You may have to take a whole extra bunch of holy water to douse him with before you go in, <laughs> and after you come out. <laughs> right. You know, the best thing to do with 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 senior there is just to probably sit him in a corner with an audio recorder and let him go at it. Yeah. Sit over there and talk to him. You'll be all right. Exactly. You'll be fine. <laughs> Better yet, turn around and face the corner. Just turn around and face the corner, too, while you're at it. <laughs> I'll even bring you a tinfoil hat. Don't worry about it. Right. Right. Okay. So uh, we BS for 15 minutes already. So anyway. <laughs> right. I'm going to get started on these things. <laughs> and then uh, Mickey G says, keep Brandon safe. Absolutely. He's my buddy. Yeah. He's my buddy. He's going to be all right. So, he's yeah. he's he's becoming like one of our little little uh crew up there, so we're going to have to keep him safe always. There you go. There you go. But honestly, in this location, um there is nothing that I would say is negative um at all. Now, I let my daughter who is 14 and she's been going in there for years even when she was young and mm -hmm. she's, I have no problem with her being in there. Yeah. So, so I think everything is fine. I mean, there, there's a lot of activity. You may see a lot of stuff, but I, there's, there's not anything negative. I don't think. No, there's something that's going to, going to more curious about you than you are about it. Probably. Right. Right. 
Yeah. Exactly. And, and, you know, there's a lot of people around, a very not, a lot of knowledgeable people. I don't think that there will be any issues. Just stay away from text. Yeah. Don't go around text. <laughs> if you don't want to get anything, you can go around text because text is a repellent. <laughs> I think he's, he's the him, first person in history to scare ghosts away. Him and Jason should just stay together. Yeah. I'll just have them sit in the basement <laughs> and stay yeah, that's there. The best thing to do. You two stay there till we come and get you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have done that to him before. And um, it was at the Alabama Bigfoot Conference yeah. uh, the year before at the Crest. Yeah, and, the Crest, I remember. Um, Right. And it had been a location that had never been investigated. And... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We sent a text down run the basement in a chair yep. with audio. There. And what did he get? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. But but he was the one that recognized the the bit on the stairwell when he came back up. Was asking yeah, us, hey, that did do this? But that was something for me and you, I believe. Yeah, I think I think it might have been because we came down, he was going up, and when he went up, he said, Hey, did y'all do this? No, we didn't right. touch nothing. No, we didn't touch it. We didn't touch a thing. So, it, yeah, it, it, as weird as it was was sounding, um, Tex didn't get anything on audio. He just nope. sat down there and got nothing. Missed got nothing. Randy and I were having all kinds of fun. You oh, know, um, even Greg Ogles was there with me uh, one night. Yep. And he saw his first full body, not a full body apparition. I would say full bodied shadow person. Should I say? Oh, not they're, just they're a shadow, a shadow person. They're yeah. At the museum? No, at the crest. Was he at the crest? Was he there with us that night? Or was he, yes. he there the night? That, that, he was the oh, next yeah. night. The next oh, he night. Was the next night. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Right. And and I went down there with him, and sure enough, he did see it flat out. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah. oh, there you go. There you go. He actually yeah. saw a shadow person. So yeah. I'm like, wow. That was pretty cool. So I'm I get excited when people who have never ghost hunted before or had ever seen anything finally see something. I get more excited for them when I see some, than when I see something. You know what I mean? Well, that's like <laughs> what totally I was with Miniola. And I'm like this was Aggie Aggie Joy out there. Yeah. She she likes to remind me of this every time we talk about this stuff. Cause she was there in mm -hmm. Miniola with me. And they were all mm -hmm. getting hit everywhere on the walk. Oh, yeah, we got, we're, we're talking about K2s in the red. We're not talking about just a blip here, a blip there. We're talking about K2s right. in the red. And right. it, they'd sit there and it'd come through, it'd go back, it'd come through. The minute I walk up on it, nothing. Everything stopped. Everything. Right. Like, dang, did I scare them away? I'm, I thought I was a fun-loving kind of guy. What the heck? I thought I had my K2 out over here because I was going to show people if they didn't know what we were talking about, but I don't have mine oh, handy. Uh, yeah, mine's it, over you in know, the other It's just a little handheld thing, and it has lights that'll go from green and then, you know, yellow mm -hmm. to orange to red. And the stronger the EMF signal, the farther it will go to the red. Yeah. So um, that's what he's meaning by that. I thought I had one in here, but I don't. <laughs> Texas got two of my K twos and my night sight that I use for uh, out in the field and stuff for the the IR. But he's got those, and I gotta go over there and get my stuff from him sooner or later. I guess. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, uh, I, I have to keep my I keep my stuff usually in my bag, and uh, I'm just ready to go pretty much any time. Yeah, I have my batteries in there, my chargers are in there, everything's ready to go. You know it every time. Mm -hmm. So. Now we're going to, well, wait, we're almost at 20 minutes. We BS for 20 minutes. You believe that? Oh, my gosh. Well, see, that's what happens when we start investigating and blah, 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 blah. That's what happens. Real investigations and such. Yeah. Yeah. It let's, gets let's interesting. Let's get to some photos. Let's get to some yeah. pictures. Let's let's this, get some pictures. Yes. This first one, this first one, uh, like I said, these are going to go relatively quick because we got a bunch of red circles going on today. Oh, wait uh, a minute. I got and, my hat ready. Okay. Oh, yeah. And, and we don't forget, this is the misty type of red circles a the lot mystifying the mystifying, mystifying red circle yeah. sunday yeah so this one this picture uh, was taken christmas morning of 2015 taken by a lady in her home and they just lost their grandmother uh that that earlier that year and this so this was the first christmas without the lady uh it was her house and it's always been quote unquote active according to her even before the lady's passing 
lots of picks taken, so forth. So that morning, and only this one had what is any anything interesting. Just to add in case she talks about what she sees, and I'm not going to tell that because I'm going to let you look at it. Uh, what? Hey, I'm just telling you what what was written. <laughs> I'm squinting. I'm squinting. Okay, we're going to, I'm going to zoom in to the uh the red circle. How's that? Cuz we don't care okay, about so the kid. Yeah, let, let, let's look into the red circle. Let's look at Even it. Even though the kid did get a cool looking guitar right there. But anyway. Uh Really? I see, I see reflections. That's me too. Like a light is shining on something. Yeah. Uh, can we can we go down to where the kids are to see yep. if we see anything in there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can see some right here. There is reflection off of some of the uh, wrapping and boxing and stuff. Oh yeah, there there's so, something in there. We might not be able to see it, but that's what it looks like to me, definitely. Look at the shadow of the dog right there, too. So, yeah, that just because of the way it is, it's reflecting here. It's a more of a vibrant reflecting off of this enamel paint on the door frame and the door itself. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to call this a reflection. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is tinfoil, tinfoil, tinfoil. Yep. Straight out, straight out, straight out. OK. OK. <laughs> well, that was easy. All right. Picture number two. Picture number two. All right. This is two through four, actually. Okay, this one right here, these guys put this out, uh, I believe it was on te uh, Texas Paranormal, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, these photos were taken December 3rd, 2010, at this person's 60th birthday party at, at the old Moon River Bar in Spicewood, Texas. Okay, no one's smoking Ooh. there. Okay. Yeah, no, no one was smoking. About 20 yards beyond that window on the left is a tiny, basically abandoned cemetery from 100 years ago. Why would somebody put a pub okay, or a bar uh, right What year the, was this? This 2010. 2010. Okay. And I'm going okay. to bring up the first one real quick while I finish reading the other so you can start looking at it. I'll zoom it in so you get a better look. And see, I didn't blur people's faces. I did white photos so that way you can't see their faces so that way it doesn't freak you out or anything. <laughs> okay, so, but as soon as the photos were taken, uh, the guy, he said he noticed the uh, quote-unquote anomalies that I had the photographer take them again and they were normal. So these are the ones that had the actual, shall we say, anom anomalies in it. Okay. Okay. Go ahead with the second one. Okay. Second one. Now, as you can see, the, the, the whatever this is, is, is moving in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, but so is the photographer. Yeah, exactly. It's a different angle. We'll go back to the first one. Yeah. So slightly that, different that angle. Slightly different. Yeah. So that yeah. doesn't count. No. Uh, and like a I slightly said, this, different angle. Uh, yeah. A slightly different angle will uh, make these things appear that they're moving when they're not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead. See what here. Uh, uh, I'm, 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 there's still some other stuff here. Uh, I think we had an uninvited but welcome guest. I worked at the, he worked in that building several years later after it changed names and owners. And they could tell the original part of the building was very active. It had been one room, it had been a one, one room schoolhouse 150 years before. Now, this is stuff I'm, okay. I'm reading as I, as I found it. So then that things were constantly flying off the walls of the kitchen, supposedly. Okay. So okay. there's that. And, and then the last one. And you see, they all moved a little bit. This doesn't seem to have moved a whole lot to me. This piece right here, or this this streak. Okay, okay, I figured it out. All right. Yeah. So if you if you see that there are lights coming down from the ceiling, you can yes. see that streak that goes through. There's lights coming down from the ceiling. Mm hmm. And those oh. lights are interacting, are interacting with the flash because he said it was a photographer. In 2010, so if he's using an actual film and flash, they are interacting, creating a light effect is what they're doing. They possibly could. 
Yeah. Now he said, now the guy said he did have, have him take them again later and they weren't there, but that doesn't have the same humidity. Doesn't have the same amount of people. Doesn't have anything like that in there. You've got to have you know, the exact same, yeah. you know, setup. the exact same. Yeah. Now, obviously they weren't spooked by it and he just saw it after all the photos were done. As soon as they were taken, he noticed them and had the photographer take them again and they were normal. So why didn't you send me the, or put the stuff out there that was normal? So we could have something to base it against. Right. My bet is, is that when he, he had the, uh, the, the photographer do it, they were at another, once again, a slightly different angle and it didn't have, or maybe it was even earlier in the day where he had some more light outside. Right. And not, and not that particular night. He just said when he saw yeah. it, he had him do it. So. I, yeah. I can't tell you, it doesn't give me enough information to go that far into conjecture, but yeah. And the, who's that? And Roger, Roger Blair. Blair. Yep. Roger Blair has a good point. That kind of looks like they took a picture of a picture and it's a glare. You are absolutely <laughs> correct. Because when they print pictures, when they print them, they can have a glossy finish or they could have a matte finish. Um, normally, your run-of-the-mill, uh, your little camera, you're just taking the film in to get developed and get your pictures mm -hmm. back or whatever. Um, yeah. They get glossy. You you get glossy prints. And yes, I think you are pretty much what what it is. Pretty much what it is. Well, good, uh, good night, NAC, and happy birthday. Just thought I'd let you know that before we move on. Yeah, I'm about um, to I mean, I have your name, too. Um, but that, you know, I, 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 that's pretty clear to me that it can happen. It's I've done it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A hundred times. A hundred times. You know, and even if the, the photo is not com completely like flat and it might have, you know, like maybe a bend or something, yeah. that flash is going to look kind of funny on it. Yeah. I mean, and the only thing I had the issue with uh, as far as calling it straight out just glare in general well the one thing that really led me more is because look how how dark it is here there's no glare here at all everything's up higher or yeah. directly well if you light. look at the if you look at the the light and the way that it is uh coming across the picture from the ceiling do you see that yeah, this, straight this right here that they're not the lights are not angled straight down they're they're yeah. they're Angle towards like yeah, they they're not straight down, and probably <laughs> on a ceiling fan more likely. So you probably got them, you know, fanned out. That's possible. That is yeah. very possible. Mm -hmm. So, but either way, I let you saw I left mine on. So, yeah, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna go with this because I'm I'm not I'm not convinced, and I'm no. I'm not even slightly confused. No, because you you can explain it away. You can explain yeah, it away you quite. Yeah, you can. Easy. You can. Yeah. Right, and especially okay. if you don't have three three pictures that are exactly the same back to back to back, you yeah. can't tell if it's moving. You can't tell anything from it. So I would just throw yeah. it out. If he would, if he would have put those those ones he had taken afterwards, and gave me a time frame on that, or put that at the time frame that it was done, I might have something to go off of, you know. But this doesn't give right. me enough to really go off of, other than just to say that's a glare. Right. So, okay. Next victim. Next victim. Okay. This one I didn't put the, the red circle on. This was already came with the red circle. So oh, even better. I really wish that they hadn't, though. Honestly, I really wish that they hadn't because this one is a little interesting to me. Now uh, here's here's what the owner said about it. The, the, the owner said. Hello everyone. I wanted to leave you this with an interesting leave you with this interesting photo. I'm going to give you a, the context. The following photograph was taken in 2017 in a school in the city of Rosario, Argentina. This was a day of activities where we played various games and had snacks and classmates and teachers and such. So it's in a school. That afternoon, some classmates and I went to the church located at the back of the school, and we entered climbing the staircase that connects with the storehouse of the religious uh, of religious figures 
and I guess their their museum, I guess area or rectory, I'm guessing is what they're meaning. Um, at the at that moment, colleague took this photograph. In it, you can see the little girl in a white dress, who I assure you was not there, nor did <laughs> we see her at any time. When we got home, they sent the photo to the to the group, and our blood ran cold. Quote unquote. Now that's what they said. I don't know why your blood run cold, but you're telling me straight out there is no kids. You just told me you you were doing stuff with kids and activities and stuff like that, but there's no kids in this particular area with you and your colleagues. I don't need the 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 the, the red circle. First of all, you can see there's something there. Yeah, uh, absolutely. But I'm having a problem. I'm having a problem with the lady in the picture. Yeah. It's like Her. almost like, she, first of all, why would you be taking a picture going down there like that if you're at a, a function, you know, down yeah. a hallway for, you know, an investigation? Yeah, I could see why you would take a picture. Yeah. But no, this yeah. had nothing to do with that. She's kind of stopping and looking like she's reacting to it a little bit. Well, I think this lady wasn't the one taking the picture. There's another one behind her, I think, that's actually taking exactly. the picture. Exactly. That's that's so, exactly what I'm talking about. Waiting, why are they waiting for why him? is the woman why is the woman standing there? No idea. For no reason. Yeah. If they're other busy than, doing something and to take a picture down a stairwell. My only question uh -huh. on this one would be, were they doing some sort of a little mini investigation or something? Were they going to look at stuff that might have been haunting? Because they were coming from an area of, quote unquote, religious relics. Were they over there trying to do that when they shouldn't have been over there in the first place type thing? Well, it said her colleagues, so they, they would yeah. know that. You would think so. Yeah. So these three, obviously, there's three people there. The one taking the picture, that lady, and then the guy coming up the stairs. He's not reacting at all, obviously. Now, is there... They, they don't give you enough information for the photo, obviously. No. But sight unseen, just looking at that, if I was to come across it, I would... Yeah, I would ask, why are you taking the photo in the first place? And obviously, it's a flash. Look at this lady's hair. You got full-blown flash on. Now, when you took it, were you just trying to take a picture down that way with him coming up with the flashlight or did something cause you to turn around and take the picture? In that case, you should have told me that when you actually dropped the picture. And, and the guy coming up the stairs, was there a little girl following him that was yeah. with him or whatever? Um, so my, there, but it, is it, that a flashlight he's holding? Yeah. He's on a flashlight. You can see the, Look at the, the the reflection of it right here. He was coming up with the flashlight. So this is all dark back here. The lady behind her took the picture. I don't know if she did that just to give him more light, maybe. I, I don't know. It's tough to say. I can't tell why they would have taken that picture in the first if place. If they would have said, if they would have said, hey, we were on a ghost hunt. Yeah. And my colleague was coming up the stairs with the flashlight and look what we caught behind him. That would be more, I guess, yeah. that would validate what we're seeing. But not that they were having a children's type activity. I, yeah. I'm, I have I no idea know. why a man would be coming up out of the basement with a flashlight. I'm, 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 I mean, the yeah. whole story Doesn't sounds mean. weird. Yeah, it's just weirdly done. It's weir weirdly written. It's weirdly done. And to say that your blood ran cold, that isn't enough right there to make my blood run cold in the first place. But they swear the girl was not there. Uh, and like I said, they're at... after the, Why they, they took the... It's yeah. just the whole story. Why did they take the picture? Why? But and here's the, re the other reason I ask about this. You know, classmates and teachers, that afternoon, some, some classmates and I went to the church located... At the back of the school, we entered climbing a staircase. This is where they entered, I guess, and connects to the storehouse of religious figures. At that moment, a colleague took a photograph. Now, if you're in there with classmates, why are you telling me it's a colleague? See, that's where all the red flags go off right there, just in the, the write up. Now, 
could it not it could have not have been the lady that's in that actually took a picture they wrote it up somebody just threw it out there full of bs yes they could do that real quick but something's happening something's happening either yeah, they were in a space right. some they were in a space they shouldn't have been in yeah. or you know so they were covering it up with a story whatever yeah exactly um, I don't know. What does everybody think in chat? Yeah, yeah. Let me know what, what y'all think. Ever, yeah, because I mean, the story but, doesn't match the photo. I'm, I'm no. not, you know, because so, the story is as as important as yeah, the photo. Exactly. It puts everything into context. But if I think something doesn't sound right. Yeah, these don't look like classmates either. I mean, the way they were talking, unless they're in a, a secondary school, you know, or high school type thing in Argentina. So, which would be, you know, I just, he don't look like he's a high schooler, first of all. No. He could, I guess, but she, I don't think she's a high schooler either. So, I would lean to these being adults, first of all. Yeah, I'm, but, I'm, I'm, I'm having, I'm having. I'm having issues. The story with the doesn't match setup. the photo. Yeah. The story doesn't match the photo. So, I'm having a hard time with it. I'm not going to call it tinfoil because no. I don't know the real story, but the. This is something's wrong here. And, and, and cool. And, and if we throw the, the whole story out and this is just take the picture as a picture as a picture. And if we go with what they said, there was no children, period. But again, I mean, cool hand, cool hands, like the same way I am. I'm you, you look at it. Hey, there's a kid behind him. That's first right out of the box, even without the circle. Hey, there's a kid down there. You have to tell us a little bit more. You have oh, yeah. to tell us why you were taking the picture because that wouldn't make any sense. Yep. Um, why are you going taking a picture down the stairwell? And why does this man have a flashlight if you're in clearly the that's something that should have lighting? Yeah, it should talking. have lighting. Why Once again? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Freaky's got it right. There's a circle. Is it real? <laughs> Right. I mean, it's real. Yes. The circle looks, is real. It looks odd. And I'm going to say that it looks odd. Yeah. Very, yeah. very odd. But what they're saying is that they were it's going not. over to this other place and took this no. picture. Well, why would you take a picture down a stairwell? It's not like it would be something. Unless yeah. you saw something behind the man coming up and decided to take a picture. Yeah. If that's the case, then tell us that. Tell us that exactly. from the get go. So, yeah. Yeah. And like I said, you know, being where these things are at most of the time, especially the red circle ones, they probably passed through 9,000 different hands before they ever got to the spot that I found them. So, right. Right. In fact, I'll show you one of those here in a few. I've actually got got one that falls into that category. So, right. But if I right. was to look at just the picture alone, there's a there is a little girl there. Yeah. But I, I can't say that that's it's it's got the same opaqueness as what he's got. That'd be a little girl. Yeah, absolutely. I think it'd be a kid. Were, but the, you're right, Randy. In this case, they should have not put a red circle so we could mm -hmm. see more of what's back there. But yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm I'm right. gonna be on the fence about that. Me too. I mean, I can't say yes. I can't say no. There we go. Yay! Now we're gonna have some fun. Okay. Yeah, what happened? I missed something. I, I looked back my at the camera. Light and just, in my room, my light just flipped on and off. Is your daughter in there again? No. Uh oh. Okay. We'll have Mark. to look and see <laughs> if there is a light change off to the side. Perhaps maybe we can. We may have caught just yeah. a like just a slight light okay. change. Yeah, I'll look at it when we get done. Stuff so when I get everything down. And the you there. know, and the room that I'm in, the the heater um you know goes off the set the same system. I have two in the house, but this one runs this whole area, and. Yeah. The air, the the heat didn't come on. Hmm. So you that know, sometimes you would expect that maybe, maybe if the heat clicks on, it might. No. Okay. All yeah. right. I'm so, just saying. Well, I'm, I'm just saying. thirty-eight minute mark, roughly thirty-eight minute mark. So. Yeah, about there, about there. Because yeah, that was weird. And you know, Ooh, Mickey Matthew, said she one. thought. Yep, she sure did. And okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go, I'm going, this is going to be a real one. This is going to be real. I'm telling y'all it's going to be real. I need Donnie right, out let's there. Look, Donnie let's needs, look at Donnie it. Let's look at it. 
All right. Cranes Hollow Road, Amsterdam, New York. Long time ago, quote unquote. Oh my gosh. Long time ago. That's what it says. <laughs> Could this actually be a real dog man on camera? I I, I can't. No. I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I actually drew that picture on, or drew that uh that circle on there. So I had he's to, probably I had laughing. To, uh, That's why it's so squiggly. He was laughing while he was drawing it. He's like <laughs> You would not believe. Now, I'm going I'm to bring this up now just for the fun of it. Oh, oh Freaky, I did it just because. That's all it was. Uh, just because. But Just because it's Red Circle Sunday. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I, I, this has hit every board on Facebook. This has hit everywhere. Any kind of paranormal, cryptid, whatever that's on that on the entire platform of Facebook has this particular picture on it right now. And <laughs> kind of like the, you know, funny walking thing in El Paso, you know, on the outside of the yeah. airport, that one, that one. Like, yeah. really? Yeah, that's right. Nemo in chat says dog man needs to file a uh, file for disability. Yeah. You are like absolutely correct. <laughs> Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, I don't even have to really look at it, honestly, because you can see this is another little couple of trees, really, that have come together. Just, uh, just for pure D, you know, almost like a bush. Let's say it like that. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, okay. All right. Hey, fun number one now. <laughs> and, and John from chat said, amazing, doesn't cast a shadow. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> uh, all right sorry guys i <laughs> some of these i have to let Oof, okay. okay all right now we run into pareidolia <laughs> well that looks odd uh, that looks odd i mean yeah. when you first take a look at it yeah is there all any right. backstory on this one there's a little bit. There isn't a whole lot. It says, uh, which one was a seven? Yeah. Uh, the owner said uh, this photo was taken of my ex sister in law's at my ex sister in law's house. There were a lot of paranormal activity there. She would also give have strange dreams about an old woman. That's all I have. And yes, I drew the red circle. All right, let's bring it up. Let's look at let's look at Granny in there. Let's look at Granny. That's a scary granny. <laughs> you know, but I mean, to, to talk well about the photo, I mean, manifestations come across in many different ways. Sometimes they can come in full color, sometimes not. Sometimes they're a little hazy. Yeah. Oh. At first look. I don't know. It's it's tough to say. Now I'm it's strange. I'm of the the full field because you look at the whole the whole picture. Mm -hmm. You know, you got you got a light back here behind this lady's head. Absolutely. And it's coming across here. And so, it's coming across her shoulder. Yes. And it's reflecting off of something else back here. So I cannot tell though what this is. Could it be? Granny manifesting a little bit more right there at that point, maybe versus where her face is. Possibly, it, you know. On. I mean, who who are we to say that they have to manifest exactly the same way all the way around? Now, I've seen them manifest completely, and then yep. they dissipate. Yep. And when I say dissipate, that's slowly, and little parts mm -hmm. of them start to disappear. Yeah. I'm not too sure about this picture. I am not too sure about that one. Yeah. Okay. And I could see that. Don't get me wrong. This is one of the reasons I grabbed it because I looked at it as like, you could argue both sides of it real easy. You could say pareidolia. Right. It's, it's kind of touchy because of the light there. That That's the only reason I would jump on that one. But 
this part right here is the one that gives me pause. Because there's nothing that makes sense to be back here at that height going toward that Exactly. Bridge. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That there, nothing there looks like it mm -hmm. should. Now I'm saying it should make that type of... No. Um, but everything in the picture... Um, it, well, as we can see, this has probably been passed around, passed around, passed around, oh, and yeah. duplicated, yeah. you know, many times. So yeah. there is going to be a little bit, it's going to be a little bit grainy. But if you look at the woman in front and then look at the woman behind her, there is a definite difference. And there yeah. shouldn't be that. Because if you look at the woman in the cabinets or the refrigerator behind her, whatever that thing is, yeah. they look exactly right like it should be. But that figure standing in between them looks yes. way different doesn't it yeah doesn't it um and this one right here uh J jd smooth uh yeah that that right there um i'm talking i think he's talking about this line right here i think that's part of her hair i think that's a strand of her hair coming down that's a strand of her hair so yeah. it is literally blocking that out so Oh yeah, that was the. Uh, it, it's it. Oh, it's it's touchy. It's one of those that's touchy. I mean, and it's one of those. I, like I said, I put the red circle on there because I just wanted to put it on there. But as I looked at it on the original uh, board, it was on. As you look at these, I mean, this is film. This isn't this isn't digital. This looks like film to me, but I don't think it. I don't know for sure if it is or isn't because it doesn't have the right pixelation to be. Uh a quote unquote digital photo. All right. Well, you know, JD Smooth says, right, but the lady the but the hair wouldn't be that straight. It really isn't. If you follow the hair, it does have a curvature at the end right because her hair does not look curly. Yeah. It looks like it's kind of half haphazardly put up is what it is. Yeah, because if you if you look at it, it, it goes down, but then it has like kind of a curvature at, at the bottom. Right here, right here at the end. Um, yeah. Yeah, here. you see it come down yeah. and it just curve out right here. Curve out, yes. And now, see, see the, my the, daughter, my daughter has straight hair, mm -hmm. but I do not. Mine's super curly. So, um, and her hair will do that. Her hair will be straight. I mean, she'll put it up in a messy bun and have little wisps coming out, and it will be straight as a bone. I guarantee you. Um, but that, I mean that. But it's falling in front of the figure and it is blocking it out. So that shows to me. I'm that sorry, I'm whatever's there great. is there. Whatever's there is there. Yeah, I'm trying to look. It didn't give me a, an actual date or anything. Now, Greg, Greg calls a good, good, uh, a good uh, thing right there. I said about not really being, it looks like it should be film versus digital because reason i say that greg when i zoom in like this i should be seeing real pixels right here you know i should be seeing blocks and i'm not seeing that i'm seeing actual smudging of the 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 line around the shoulder and such i'm not really seeing you know actual pixelation like i should i mean i can get up to here and see it don't get me wrong but you're gonna see that on any digital when you do that unless this was a super super high def camera which i honestly doubt and you know he, he it made may have statement. been like an older cell phone you know yeah. um or somebody uh, taking who knows because, boys, you know like yeah like if she's taking a selfie just say if she's taking a selfie well they cut the picture down because you can see that yeah oh yeah because there'd be yeah there would be no reason to take that picture like that so it's probably a selfie and cut and cropped to this. Yeah, that's that's kind of what it seems like. I mean, but yeah, and I can't I can't tell. Like I said, I, I and I've I, seen I don't some know. older ones. The older, uh, how can I put them? They weren't really cell phones. They were digital cameras that, but they were handhelds, you know. And they were such low resolution. You could take pictures, and that's kind of what it gives me the the this area up here, how it's all kind of. I shouldn't say blurred, but dark. You can just tell it's not right. a good quality quality, you know, and that's, 
that's kind of where I'm at. at. But that's just a, 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 a an observance by me saying something ain't quite right as far as the the digital side of it. But right, either way. Well, Greg, Greg Ogles again has said something really. You know, it, this this helps a lot. It said it's been yeah. zoomed before it was cropped. Yes, it was. So absolutely, no uh, yeah. So I mean, I'm not going to discount it. I'm I no. I. I'm I'm like wow that is that's really vivid. I'm on the fence. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the that's fence really vivid better. for me to say it's nothing. You know, it's yeah. super vivid down to the shoulder, down to the neck, the hair. Um, mm -hmm. There, are, you, some facial features are there. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't no, know. Greg, it doesn't have any properties attached to the file other than what I've just got downloaded. And quite frankly, this is uh this is the size of it right now. And it is hang on, I'm gonna see if I can actually get you if I did a resize on it, what's it telling me? It's uh 728 by 1264 on pixels, and there is no way this photo originally was taken, obviously, at 728 mm -hmm. by 10, or 1264. It just <laughs> It wasn't. It's been blown up. Yeah, Greg says he's on the electric fence, and yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm right there. Yeah. Nobody move because we don't know. Yeah. But she it is. It is crap compelling. out of me. That, it that is face compelling. The crap out of me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is compelling. Yes, it is. So. So. All right. We're in the. Mm -hmm. We're on on the electric fence or electric chair or electric. We're chair. on the electric fence or in the electric chair, right? I, I, I'm, I'm not going to put my tinfoil hat on because I don't, I, I don't know. I can't yeah, no. see anything that would say that it, it is fake. And I can't tell you anything that says that it's real either. So yeah. I'm on the fence, everybody. Yep. All right. So this one was another well, one that was kind of iffy to me. I shouldn't say iffy. It caught my attention, and it's already got a red arrow, so I didn't mess with it at all. But I'm going to go ahead and bring this up, and y'all can start looking at it. And here's the write-up for it. This one, the owner said that they drove past the bad rack a few days ago, and they're wondering what that thing is, and, and to the right side. And this picture was posted by the news channel that covered the wreck. Really? Yes. Not with the red arrow, obviously. But. So they're pointing to this person standing on the road there. Who we think is the person, yeah. Well, but, let's look at it. Let's look at as it. You can see. Oh. Oh, does I that not look like a hat man? Not. Does that look yeah. like a hat man? Yes, it does. Now, oh, that looks like guys, a Batman, y'all. There is no way in hell, excuse my language, and this is my channel, I can say it, but there is no way in hell these guys right here would miss are it. This guy stand there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, freaky. I don't know if it's a Mormon or not. <laughs> Do we even know what state it was in? I mean, no, I do not. If know. we're talking now, Utah, well, you know, we could be. Well, no. I see there's a Centerville sign up here, and I can't make anything else up, out up there. Uh, I can't see the actual uh, yeah. exit number. So if I could see an exit number, I might be able to tell something. But this one is. Zoom to see back into that. Zoom, zoom back into it. I, I want to know. I want to. I cannot tell, and it looks like it could have been superimposed on it. But yeah, but they'd have done a they'd have done a dang good job. And why exactly. would the news post that photo? Why would the it, news post that photo? Um, yeah. If they thought that it was fate. But and the, the uh, news didn't post it for that guy though. They didn't even think nothing about it. These people found it after the news had posted it about the wreck. So the news it guys looks like might a look hat at it. Yeah. It looks it looks like it a looks, hat man. I'm sorry, but it does. That trifold right there? Yeah. I mean, because you're looking at a total like a gray black 
type of figure standing there with, you know, with a long coat and the hat. And there's there's a fireman mm -hmm. right there. Uh, now this just being me, somebody's just been around wrecks before with firemen. You're not going to be just standing there unless you were involved in the wreck. Exactly, Greg. Where's the shadow? Exactly. There is well, no shadow. Okay, let's look. Let's yeah, no because you can even see that the firemen are putting off shadows. Not very just much little. one though. Yeah, just enough. Yeah, just enough. You see down here. See down here that it's right at the base of their foot. But do me a favor. Do me a favor. Yeah. There is another person standing on the side of the road down a little bit farther. Or what whatever that is there. That's tripod, and then you got this guy over here. Okay, let's look at closer at the tripod. Tripod. I'm yeah. not seeing a shadow on that either. No. Which makes makes me think it may have been overcast that day, maybe. 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 Because I can't. I can't tell. I'm trying to see if I can see. You can see the shadow under the car, obviously, and it's straight down. Yeah, but this is the problem. The trucks are even putting off a minor shadow in yeah. that particular area. And the yeah. mass of the the being entity standing yeah. there should put off a shadow. In this should. area right here. Right. Because look at this, look at this truck, the, the wrecker right here. This truck right. is putting off a shadow right there. So he should have something at his height right there. I should see something right here. And we don't see it. And that was a bad wreck, too. Yeah, that was that was a very bad wreck, it looks like. But it's obviously been shut down for a while because there's one of the vehicles and one of them has already been hooked up to this. Uh, right. Uh, no, that's a policeman. But I think that's a policeman behind the actual wrecker right there, I think. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's more to this picture, I'm sure. There's more to oh, it. Yeah. Like, I'm afraid to ask what this app might be. I really right. Am. Right. And I don't want to know. What immediately yeah, cool hit my hand. mind. Yeah, Cool Hand says, high noon, there wouldn't be a large shadow. Absolutely, yeah. there wouldn't be a large shadow. But everything else no. around it is putting off a shadow except for that. Yeah. Uh, it's he definitely, I'm with Greg, though. I'm with Greg. It's not misidentified in any way, shape, or form. It is either faked or it's a apparition. One of the two. Yeah. We should see something shadow-wise at the feet of it, some way, shape, or form. And we right. just don't see that at all. Right. It, could it be the Grim Reaper? I don't it know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Could it, could it, could it be the of. angel of death? Could it be? Yeah. Yeah. So um, I mean, yeah, that one was. I that, figured you'd like that one because that one I had to study that one for a while the, the other day when I found. It, I was like, there's got to be something I'm missing or something, but there just isn't that I can see. And I, judging from I, where this I would taken, definitely have to really look at this under a microscope. Yeah, and quite but, frankly, I'm just not going to do that because I'm just going to sit there and let y'all stew on it and figure out if you like that one's a, that one's a little that one's a little crazy i'm gonna go with that that one is crazy yeah I, i'm with you that's a hat man that's a hat man okay mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Golly, we're already at an hour i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to fast forward through a few of these i got plenty to go for the next red circle sunday then hey so. <laughs> we, we we can always continue this but aggie joy says if it's not the angel of death from touched by an angel which is andrew, andrew then i yes. don't want him yes, i think if, I if, if, if you're going to go can you at least choose who takes you please exactly the same well the same and, and and i hate to say it because we used to watch that show all the time obviously and yeah, right that man that played him is I, dead so I don't okay. even like to even bring that up. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I don't know if that's real or if it's not real, but it is again, that is very compelling that yes, it's standing there at the site of an accident. I have heard a lot of um EMTs and firefighters and other things mm -hmm. talk about stories of the same caliber of what we're looking at. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So do I dismiss it? No, Ooh. I do not. Not uh -uh. one bit. Not one. No. Bit. And if it's, I can it's, find, like it's like they're yeah. just standing there waiting to take yeah. you wherever you got to go. You know what I mean? It's like they're just 
if there I they are. find the actual site of that, if I, uh, if, with what I've got, I haven't got a whole lot to go off of with that picture, obviously, but if I can you figure out where that's at, I could do a look up and maybe I can get a better picture. Cause I think that probably came from a traffic cam of some sort, you know, DOT cam. Or maybe or even a helicopter at this yeah. point. We don't know. Yeah. You Anything. know, life, maybe life, whatever. Something. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I'll look into it and see what I can find. And I'll report back cross fingers. Right. Yeah, cause that that one's that was a little that's a little scary. Yep. Just yep. saying, that yep. one's a little scary. Well, this one is the one I was saving for last, and since it's at the hour, I figured I better push it up and get it where it All needs right. to go. Cause this one, I didn't even put red circles on this one because this one this one was one that got to me kind of like what that one just did to you. Cause uh, right, this was caught. This person on their bedroom security camera caught these pictures eight months apart. She now she also mentions that she feels completely safe in her home and she does not think it's bad, neither does the dog because the dog never reacts to it. Uh, you know, that concerns me a, a little bit when, when animals don't react. Yeah. Um it kind of makes you mine, think, uh, mine don't. Mine don't because they're clueless. Um <laughs> You like they're like mine, brain dead, right? Yeah, right. They're clueless. Um, my cat would, and it didn't matter. It wouldn't matter what it was. Um, all right, let's uh, let's look at the bottom one first. Let's see what we're looking for. You don't, you don't look at that one. I think the top one is the first one. I was taking. Like I said, eight months apart. Now, mind you, on these. Yeah, I want to look at the bottom one first. Bottom one first. Oh, okay. It almost looks like something's blurred. Yeah, uh, I thought so too. And being a being a a camera that is motion uh, motion sensitive or whatever the case might be, with that mm -hmm. security cam. Now she's obviously had a re needs a reason to put a security cam in her bedroom for whatever reason. Right. right. So or him, I, I it didn't say it was him or her, but. I'm assuming it was a her. Right, judging from what I've the, seen here. <laughs> let's let's look at the top. Okay. Oh, okay. It's obviously a different angle. So obviously it's been moved in that eight months. And I just did a quick look at these. I didn't try and zoom in or anything. I just did quick looks at these because I wanted to throw this in last. So I'm looking at it about the way, same way y'all are at the same time. So, yeah, I, I'm. It's mystifying, I, isn't it? It's mystifying. <laughs> I am not. I'm not 100 percent on this. I, I, I mean, again, we're looking at. Two different photos. The The room is not staged the exact same. Nope. Uh, the picture was not taken in the same exact direction. Uh, a little bit off. And zoomed in, or either zoomed in or closer to it, one of the two. Now, Greg wants to zoom in on the bottom. I'm assuming he wants, means the bottom picture again. Uh, John asked, uh, or John said he'd have to know why the there would be a camera in the bedroom well i i, I would if if you would be seeing apparitions and things were happening in your room i may do something like that yeah um I, it, well especially if i you know i was getting ripped out of bed i would definitely have to have that on video um okay. bottom of the top one i'm assuming he's looking at this right but this here. is eight months yeah eight months difference and you've it, only it, got two pictures Two pictures mm -hmm. in eight months. Yeah. I don't think I would have cameras on me that long. I I got no idea. I don't know why. Like I said, I, won't, I don't want nobody looking at me while I'm sleeping. They might hear me snoring. It ain't happening. Uh, um, Freaky said, so this was seen by the naked eye before the camera was placed? I don't she know. She never said that. She never said that. She just said that this is what she caught. He or she, and I say she only because, like I said, if you look at the bottom with the, the knickknacks and the picture and stuff, I'm assuming this is a she. 
Because quite frankly, I can't even tell for sure there's somebody in that bed. Right. Well, you know, because if I sleep in a lot haunted location, I will put up audio and video. I definitely would. Okay, so Greg's saying... Not look necessarily at on me sleeping, yeah, yeah. but it might be like you could see me sleeping in the bed and it's it's pointed out towards the hallway or, you yeah. know, something like that to see if something walks by or... Uh... Okay, so Greg's like, look at the shadow cast by the blanket. I'm assuming... Are you talking about over in this area? That's just a comforter probably being pushed off a little bit and it's, it's creating a... A shadow effect from the IR is what I'm guessing. Same thing over here. So that when the IR went off. Near just... the flash reflection. So the flash reflection is on the headboard. Oh, right here. Right yeah. in there. So it's still, it's just the shadows of the, of the comforter. The, the IR comforter flash, over. right. Yeah. But you can clearly see why would, oh, I don't know. But there's there's nothing behind no shadow behind this though. No. And in fact, this makes a shadow onto it, onto this little part on the left. Okay, back out a little bit. Let's let's. How far out? That's good, right there. Okay. I think this was done at a different time of day too. It may I have. Bet, I bet money that there's light coming in from over here. Yeah, there, there. I think there's something causing it. I just can't pinpoint yeah. what it is. Yeah, I don't think it's. A, I don't know that it's an entity per se. Because but, I mean, if you is, if if you look, if you back out, okay, and you look at where the top of the head is, mm -hmm. it's almost like in the same spot in both pictures, even exactly. on the angle. The angle's different. But, but it's the, still in the same know, spot. But it's right around in the same spot. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, if this one was taken at a different time of night, obviously we're not seeing the same amount. I wish it had been further back out like this because, I mean, to me this looks like two different cameras, quite frankly, if you ask me. It does. It does me, too. It does me, too. Because the, the, the angle of view is completely different on both of them. Even if you'd have backed out the top one, I don't think you would have caught everything that you caught in the lower one. Oh, gosh. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, the, I don't the even know what I'm looking at. Because, you know, I, it's yeah. like I don't even know what I'm looking at. That's that's my problem. Um okay. Yeah, I'm kind of with Greg. It looks like it's kind of been, especially this lower one, blurred and feathered is really what it mm -hmm. looks like. Mm -hmm. Now, the top one, not maybe not so much, but like I said, with that shadow from that blanket onto the actual quote-unquote okay. mist entity or whatever. Do me a favor head. and yeah. look look at the bottom picture towards the bottom mm -hmm. of this this thing. This thing. Down there. Down here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you what? know what this is? I can tell you exactly what it is. I just Do you see what it, it is? Yeah, it's they're flinging up the daggum, uh the blanket. They're throwing it off of themselves. Look at the blanket I, go up. Right. No, here. but I'm like, look at look at the bottom of that near the pillow. Yeah, down here. Look at what is that? I think it's just a shadow. Of some sort. I don't know for sure what it is for sure, but you know, judging from what I'm seeing right there, the maybe he's got a no, nah, I would have said dog, but they that that if they got a dog that little, they need some help. Okay. Then you get a real dog because that ain't well, maybe it's a bigger dog. Maybe it's just the foot of it. Maybe uh, it maybe it was shake maybe it's sh like you know how dogs shake and it the the camera took the picture yeah like i said i think this is this is somebody this one was snapped when somebody's flinging the the uh something was happening yeah it looks like they were flinging up the, the hey i'm throwing the covers off type thing i think that's it's what definitely showing it. movement yeah it's yeah. showing movement yeah and that could have easily you know, i would have said that about this one but it does the the 
comforter and the blankets aren't moving with it. It's the only thing I, I can say. I don't know what that is. Yeah. So I don't know what that is, but this one we can definitely cross off. That's created by the movement of the person in the bed. I think it's created by them. Yeah, I th I think that it's tinfoil. It looks like there's movement on the bed, and it could be a created like the dog was under the the uh, blanket, started shaking and flipping it off itself or whatever, because yeah, she had said exactly. there was a dog. Her dog yep. wasn't reacting to it. I mm -hmm. think it because the bottom one might have been her dog. Um, I'm what, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what that part is right there. I, 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 we don't I know. We don't know. It might have. It might glitch. be a light spot in the paint. That's what I'm thinking, but it goes onto the board. But I think it was, I think it's a glitch in the actual capture itself when the IR went off. I think that might have just caused a little bit of a, I shouldn't yeah. say lens flare, but a glitch in the actual capture. Yeah. Either way. So I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to say anything about it, but I, because they're two different pictures, two different times. Yeah. The bottom one, I can honestly say I don't think so. I can't tell you exactly how it happened. Yeah. Um, but I can tell you that it does not look paranormal. The top one, on the other hand, mm, I don't know. I yeah. don't know about that one. Is it? I don't I don't know. I don't I'm know. Still I'm, going with it. I'm still going with it because I, I I think I, like I said, I think the, the bottom one's easily done. Now it's like a, on that one i'm this and then i'm on the fence on this one on the top right that's what yeah that's me i i don't know i don't know i can't I, I can't tell i mean i can't see the blur that of anything being you know oh man, but i'm looking i'm still trying to look over this side but i can't tell i mean because it's obviously in a darker room than what the first one is or what the bottom one is so it's two different cameras. Straight out, it's two different cameras. It's got to be. Or it's two different times a day. We've got one that, you know, it could be a dark room. And one yep. was taken during the day in a dark room. And the one was taken actually at night. At night, yeah. Yeah, because be. if you look at the door in the bottom of the picture, it looks like some kind of light or something shining yeah. through there. Yeah. Um, so it looks like Early some other light is on. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe there's a hallway light. We don't know. Yeah. But... For the most part, I I'm just gonna say I don't know. I I'm I'm thinking no. Yeah, definitely on the bottom, but yeah, I'm thinking uh, I'm with you. I don't know on the top. Right. So. Right. Well, I mean, and Greg's right. He's not sure they're infrared, but judging from what I see right here, this one's definitely IR. The one on the top. There's no doubt that that one's IR. But yeah, the one by on the, the bottom, coloration, that's what mine yeah. looked like. But I mean, <laughs> the one on the bottom, it, it 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 could be just a straight out black and white from you know as it was transitioning to color versus IR as well. I, I can't tell you that. Just there's too many variables to be for sure. Right, right. So, right. but I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna say I don't know. I don't, don't know. know. We're gonna leave it to you out, everybody out there watching and listening and in the chat. It's going to be up to you because I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. We we tend to do that a lot around here. We I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Right. I still don't know. I still don't right. know. Right. I, I, I don't know. know. Jimmy Smooth in chat says, I'm not sure. I'm not either. Well, I, I will know. leave you, though. When we get ready to do this, I'm still going to leave you with that one. Just remember, he's always watching. Yeah. That. Why? Eh. He's always watching. Ah, he's always watching. Be careful, everybody. Yep. Be careful you're driving and all that fun jazz. And exactly. I'm gonna call it a we went 15 minutes over. I'm sorry, guys. That's all <laughs> right. I still Just, didn't hit a lot of them. <laughs> right. Well, you know, it's okay. Texas uh, I d I don't see a show for him tonight. I don't know what's going on. Uh, he'll probably show up later and say, Hey, I'm doing a show at 10 o'clock tonight. Y'all want to jump on? No. Yeah. So make sure you turn on your uh, uh your notification bell for every show on the lineup. Uh, because some of us we never know when we're gonna be on. Uh I do. I don't know about everybody else, but I do. <laughs> I, I do too. I do too. Um, but 
I mean, that'll give everybody just something to think about. Just think about those pictures and what do you really think they are? Yeah. I mean, do you think it's a truthful picture? Or do you think we should just keep wearing our tinfoil hats? We're going to leave that to you, everybody. And we're going to see you next week because evidently we're going to have another weird and wacky Sunday with our red circles. And we'll see you then. Maybe not. Good night, everybody. If I can get things to work, <laughs> things, things jumping all over the place on me here. Gummit. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Night.